Any time we feel under stress, our brain tells to our body we're under some kind of threat or danger or there's some kind of problem. And our brain tells our body to release adrenaline. What that adrenaline does is put us in a flight or fight state so we're ready to face any danger. That adrenaline is very useful if we are needing to fight or run or to do something on deadline where we need to think fast and perhaps act fast. However, that adrenaline is not helpful if it's sloshing around in our bodies for long periods of time because it makes us fatigued. Then as well as adrenaline sloshing around in that flight fight state, our body releases another stress hormone called cortisol. One of the unhelpful things it does is turn our immune system off and that means we're more likely to get sick. Other signs that we might be under stress would be our thinking. So our thinking might go very narrow and we might lose the big picture. Our emotions tend to go more negative. So for example, I might feel overwhelmed or I might feel anxious or I might feel really angry or I might feel really sad. And there's also physical changes when we're under stress. You've probably noticed that your heart rate gets faster, you might feel a bit hot and sweaty and it can be difficult to digest or want to eat food. If we're feeling a bit stressed but we're generally able to get on with our life, that's usually okay. But if the stress is interfering and making it difficult for me to do the normal things that I would do, like go to work or be with my children, then we'd say it's more serious and we might want to do something about it, like ask for help.